New observations of 3i Atlas over the past few days show something unexpected. It's shifting from green to gold. This isn't common for comets or interstellar objects. The color change is appearing independently across multiple observers using different equipment, which means it's real. Interestingly, we saw something similar recently with C2025 K1 Atlas, which turned gold about six weeks ago before starting to fragment. So the question is, does this color shift indicate a chemical change in 3i Atlas, and could it signal the object is approaching breakup? Let's look at what the data actually shows. When 3i Atlas was first detected on July 1st, it wasn't glowing green. It appeared more yellow in optical bands and showed a strong red signature in infrared. That red color dominated through September, indicating a dust-rich coma with organic compounds that give objects a reddish tint similar to trans-Neptunian objects. Around late September, the color shifted to green as the object crossed approximately 2.5 AU from the sun, the distance where water ice becomes more active. Green emission comes from diatomic carbon and cyanogen molecules that fluoresce when excited by solar ultraviolet light. This persisted through perihelion and into November. Now, in mid-December, multiple independent observers are documenting a shift toward gold. Images from Alberto Quano Vodniza on December 10th, Tony Scarmato on December 14th, and Gemini North on November 26th all show this transition. The green is fading, replaced by a warmer golden hue. That suggests the molecular emission that created the green color is decreasing while dust scattering, which produces more neutral or golden tones, is becoming dominant again. One of 3i Atlas's most unusual characteristics is strong nickel emission detected spectroscopically without corresponding iron emission. This is rare. Most objects that show metal emissions display both nickel and iron together since they're chemically similar and typically found in the same minerals. The explanation involves metal carbonyls, compounds where metals bond with carbon monoxide. Nickel carbonyl is more stable than iron carbonyl and can volatilize at lower temperatures. During sublimation, nickel carbonyl escapes from the nucleus into the coma where solar radiation breaks it apart, releasing nickel atoms that show up in spectra. Iron carbonyl, being less stable, likely reacts with other materials like water before reaching the coma, explaining why we don't see the iron signature. This chemistry points toward 3i Atlas having experienced significant thermal processing in its past, possibly as a short period comet orbiting close to its parent star, Repeated heating would have driven off most volatile materials, leaving a nucleus depleted in typical comet ices. The current activity we're seeing may come from materials accumulated during its journey through interstellar space rather than original composition. Based on the observations, here's the most consistent scenario. 3i Atlas likely started as a short period comet in another star system, orbiting close enough to undergo extensive thermal processing over hundreds or thousands of orbits. This baked off most exotic compounds, leaving a relatively inert nucleus. After ejection into interstellar space, possibly through gravitational perturbation from a giant planet or stellar encounter, it spent millions of years in the void. During that time, it accumulated a thin layer of interstellar material, water ice, organic compounds, volatile molecules present in the low-density interstellar medium. This created a coating over the thermally processed core. When 3i Atlas entered our solar system and approached the sun, that thin accumulated layer activated quickly, explaining why it showed activity almost immediately upon detection. The shift from red, dust-dominated, organic-rich, to green, volatile outgassing, CN and C2 emission, reflected this temporary reservoir being released. Now, as that material depletes, the object is returning to a dust-dominated state, producing the golden color we're currently observing. The comparison to C2025 K1 Atlas is worth noting. That comet shifted to gold before fragmenting. Does this mean 3i Atlas is headed for breakup? Possibly, but not necessarily. The color change indicates evolving surface activity and emission profiles. What's venting? how much dust is being released, which molecules are dominant. Whether that leads to structural failure depends on internal composition, rotation state, thermal stress distribution, and other factors we can't directly observe. What we can say is that 3i Atlas has maintained structural integrity through peri perihelion passage and shows no clear signs of fragmentation yet, no secondary condensations, 
no debris clouds, no sudden brightness drops. The core remains compact across independent observations. If breakup is coming, it hasn't started yet. 3i Atlas reaches closest approach to Earth on December 19th at approximately 1.8 AU, about 269 million kilometers. That's also a new moon, meaning dark skies with no lunar interference. This creates optimal viewing conditions for anyone with telescopes capable of imaging the object. It's currently moving from Virgo into Leo, positioned well above the horizon in early morning hours, around 4 a.m. local time for most Northern Hemisphere observers. This represents the best remaining opportunity to capture detailed images before the object continues outward and dims further. Post-perihelion, 3i Atlas, has been gradually fading as expected for an object moving away from the Sun. As it approaches Jupiter in March 2026, it will likely continue dimming making the current window particularly valuable for final observations before it drops below practical detection limits. The shift to gold indicates a change in what's dominating the coma's appearance. Earlier, green emission came from specific molecular fluorescence, C2 and Cn, excited by UV light. That requires active venting of those molecules from the nucleus. The golden color suggests dust is now the primary scattering medium, meaning either molecular outgassing has decreased or dust production has increased relative to gas. This could mean several things. The volatile reservoir accumulated during interstellar transit is depleting. Rotation is exposing less active surface regions. Thermal evolution has changed subsurface conditions affecting what gets released. All are consistent with natural comet evolution in the post-perihelion phase. The object is entering LEO the constellation associated with lions, gold, and royalty. Interestingly, C2025 K1 Atlas also moved into Leo before its color shift and subsequent fragmentation. Whether this is meaningful coincidence or pure chance, multiple observers have noted the pattern. For those interested in symbolic alignments, the timing is notable. For those focused on physics, it's an interesting data point, but not causal. Over the next few days and weeks, continued observations will clarify whether the gold color is stable or transitional, whether brightness continues fading predictably, and whether any structural changes develop. The December 19th close approach offers the final high quality imaging opportunity before the object recedes beyond optimal viewing geometry. 3i Atlas continues evolving in ways that reward systematic observation. The color progression from red to green to gold tells a story about its composition, history, and current activity state. Whether it remains intact or begins fragmenting, the data collected now will be the baseline for understanding this interstellar visitor's final act in our solar system. What's your take on the color shift? Natural evolution or something worth closer attention? Share your thoughts below. Subscribe for updates as December 19th approaches. Clear skies.